We're here in Mallorca, but imagine we're sat in South Africa at the start of the year in February. What would your goals have been at the start of this season? It has always been to be inside the, the top 20. Uh, so, I mean, <clears throat> it was the same goal as, as last year. Uh, but, uh, yeah, this year it's been uh, a lot different. Uh, but it's been, uh, top 20 has been inside my mind all the time. I think you had one top 10 in South Africa. How do you assess your play over there? And, and do you put pressure on yourself as a European to perform over there, knowing how different the conditions are? Um, I, I do like it in, in South Africa. Uh, I got off to a pretty bad start this year. I think I had two two good events by uh, of uh, six tournaments. Uh, but <clears throat> I felt like, I mean, I, I like South Africa, but I feel like I didn't, obviously I didn't play that good, but uh, it, it was a it was a good good start of the year for sure, but the golf was wasn't there. But it was a good start. Came back to Europe and that <coughs> first event in Spain, you finished third. Um, did you feel like you felt more comfortable coming back here? What was it that week that sort of kicked you into life? Uh, I would say I like the course a lot. Uh, I think it fits my game, mm. uh, and the, the con conditions that week was. Was as I said earlier, it was it was pretty brutal. It was very windy, and I was striking the ball pretty good that week. So I felt like the wind was <coughs> it was it was good for me that week. And uh, <coughs> obviously Jens played better, but I felt like I I did a really good week. Uh, yeah. Do you feel like playing in that sort of wind helps you? Do you do you feel like you're at an advantage compared to some other guys because you like playing in that sort of condition? Uh, I mean, if my game feels great, uh, my my strongest <coughs> game is is uh, from tee to green. So uh, w when I feel like I have a good week, I, I feel like the, the wind could it's, it's not helping me, but it's uh, I, I feel like I have pretty good control over the ball, uh, which I had that week. Uh, so I, I don't mind the wind. I, quite, I, I like it. Over the next couple of months after Spain, you were a little bit up and down. A couple of top tens, a couple of missed cuts, a couple of <coughs> average performances. Yeah. How did you feel within your game at that stage? Uh, it was it, it was pr pretty bad after... Uh, I think I played pretty good in Scotland right after uh, Spain, but uh, it was pretty bad for a couple of weeks, weeks there. Uh, but then it started to get better in uh, <coughs> around mid-July, I think. Uh, so it was, as I said, a couple of weeks there where my game was, wasn't that good. And we'll talk about your win in more detail, but you finished ninth at the Dormy Open the week before. Did you? What was it about going back home, back to Sweden, that obviously helped you? Uh, it's, all, it's always nice to, to play in, in Sweden. I mean, I grew up in Sweden. I, I know the courses around the area. Uh, where we start the first week at, at Österåk here. I played there many times and I really like the course and it's... It's amazing to stay home for a week uh, and still do a competition that week. It, it feels more relaxed when you can sleep in your own bed and still do a competition. So I think it helps a lot when we have a, a couple of tournaments in, in Sweden, for sure. It's quite rare being a tour player that you get to stay at home and play an event. So what is it about staying at home that you think helps so much? Do you almost forget about being on tour and you're just going out and playing golf? I mean, it's like you sleep in your own bed, you like do your, your routines when you're home and you can see your friends, you, you can see my girlfriend. It's, it's, like a, it's like a normal week at home, but it's tournament golf a few, a few hours a day. So I feel like I'm more relaxed when I stay at home. So I think that, that helps me a lot. And then that following week, obviously, your, your breakthrough win. It wasn't an easy week with the weather and everything else. And, you know, there was a lot of waiting around and a day yeah. cancelled. Just assess that week looking back, like, how do you feel when you think about those well, three days? But <coughs> It was a, a really, really tough week, uh, I mean, especially because of the weather. Uh, but, I mean, I think the weather, again, helped me a little bit because we only played 54 holes. And uh, when we started the third round on, on, on uh, Saturday, uh, I only played two holes, but soaking two holes. And I think that was very good for me that they uh, suspended the game uh, for the next day uh, and I think that helped me a lot. Uh, to be honest, I don't think I would end up on the first place if uh, they didn't call the game.
Why is that? Just because of how bad the weather was on that Saturday? I started off with a really bad bogey on the first and <clears throat> I think I made par on the second. But I, I was like, I didn't thought it was raining that much. Uh, and I was using a, a, a trolley that week. I always carry my bag and I, I was not sure what, what to protect myself or the bag. I, I was like, I felt like a real rookie out there. I mean, and I was, as I said, I was soaking wet after two holes. So I think that was a, a very good decision for, for me that uh, the game got suspended. Yeah, you did get the job done. Looking back now, what were the feelings coming through at that stage when, when victory was confirmed? Uh, it was, it was like a big relief. I mean, I played pretty good the last, the, the weeks before that, but I hadn't really like get the get the job done. I was, I've been playing pretty good off the tee, uh, and I've been putting not so good the weeks before, and I felt like that week I was putting really well and I was striking the ball well. So it was just a, it was a good, good, great week overall. Uh, I was really pleased with the, the way I performed. And how special was it to do it in Sweden? Uh, to do it in front of, I, I'm not from, from the Helsingborg area, but to do it in front of the Swedish fans and the uh, obviously the tournament uh, <coughs> host indoor golf group uh, and all the people involved over there, it was uh, it was amazing to, to do that in, uh, in, in a tournament that the hosts are, are helping me a lot. Uh, so it, it was a big week for sure. And in, in your five starts since then, you've had three top tens. Did it almost, did that sense of relief, did it, do you think it helped you relax on the golf course and just go out there and play golf? Because the results seem to indicate that. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> it's always nice to, to, to know that you are able to, to, to win uh, on this level. Uh, and it helps me a lot with my confidence and just to see that my, my, my game is, is good enough to win out here. And uh, I, I feel like all the guys who, who has won out there can do agree with that, that you feel like you are good enough. And uh, that, that helps a lot, for sure. I, I was looking at your stats. And last season, which was your first full season on, on the Challenge Tour, 21 events, one top 10. Yeah. What do you think was different this year to last year? Was it just acclimatising to the quality of the golf course and the players out here? What, what do you think it was? Uh, I, th I think I'm a, a better golfer than last year, uh, but this year it's it's a it's a lot of we played a lot of same courses, which it's it's a bit different when you come to a course the first time and when, when you see it as as this year I've seen a, a, all not all of them but a lot of courses I played before and you you know <clears throat> the guys out there a, a little bit more and you know what to what to expect. Um, and uh, yeah, I think that that helps a lot when, when you know what what to come. Uh, and I think that's probably the biggest difference from last year. Uh, obviously, obviously, I play, played a lot better this year, but I think that's like the main thing. You, you know what to expect. And looking back on on this season as a whole, how do you assess your play, but also your experience of of the tour? What are the feelings that you take away? Uh, <coughs> I feel, I feel like, as I said, I feel like I've t taken a few steps in the right direction and I feel like I grow both as a golfer and a human, human being. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> obviously the, this tour is, is, is a great tour for, for, uh, for golfers. There's a lot of great golfers out here and it's a lot of like European Tour winners and uh, it's, it's, um, it's a very competitive tour uh, and it's uh, for 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 the guys that does not play for on the on the main tours, it's uh, it's it's a very good uh, <clears throat> I don't know how to say it, but it's it's a good 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 start of your uh, professional career. It's uh, yeah, it's it's really good.